About a year ago, a YouTuber named Sunless Khan made a video if one pro could take down seven golds. And we found those videos kind of interesting. The other day on stream, we tried taking a GC and seeing how they fared against one diamond. And if you saw the YouTube short, it was a pretty lackluster result. So we figured we'd up the stakes a little bit and try and work out how two GCs would fare and how many diamonds they could take down. Here are the results. Just a reminder that these videos are all filmed on stream and you even have a chance to be in the next video just by taking part in the stream. Stream six days a week at twitch.tv forward slash xwoodsy. Times are down below. After our Rocket League short experiment where one GC took on two diamonds and was embarrassingly defeated right off the bat, the GC's egos were bruised and they were out to prove a point this time around. The real question is, how many diamonds do you think they can take? See, we didn't see any of that from George in the first game because he couldn't afford to do it in ones. Man, he like gets a flip reset. Yeah, okay, all right, sweet. What the heck have I just seen? Bang. Oh, he's hit the bar. And that is 3-0 to the GCs. It was soon becoming a rout and the GCs were taking no prisoners. Taking a 4-0 lead two minutes into the game. Things weren't looking good for our diamonds. Are these guys arguing in chat? Some of the diamond players took to being more vocal in Twitch chat. That's kind of wild. You've got two GCs running against you, boys. Focus up. It was becoming quite apparent what the diamond's problem was. And the reason why any diamond would suffer against the GCs. The rotations just weren't up to scratch. I feel like Tofu's sitting very deep to try and cover his teammates. Connor's sitting on the halfway line. I don't think I've seen him in his own half yet. He's just cheating the whole time. He's not rotating back post or anything. There you go. There he goes. And then sometimes, I guess you could say the GCs are just better. And bada bing, bada boom. There is Ben. See, the worrying thing is the Diamonds haven't even scored a goal. At 6-0 down, things weren't looking too great for our Diamonds. We wasn't expecting them to win at this point, but we thought they would at least put up somewhat of a fight. I can't do correct commands. <laughs> Your rank. Bro, like, I played so well. Boom! The Brazil! The Diamonds have got a goal! I think that might have been the happiest Brazil of the Diamonds' life. It was clear the Diamonds needed more manpower. Now, I've seen some great Diamonds in my time, and all we needed to change the tide of the game was one of those Diamond Gods. Perhaps a Diamond in the Rough, if you would. Jesus Christ, Connor. They would have got that if the guy we lined up wasn't AFK. Yoink! I'll do it to you! Uh, so instead, I had to sub in. Oh my god. Alright, see, now this is where we just gotta play smart. I didn't really see him going for bumps too much. Yeah, look, okay, all right, it's bad. I know, I'm just a really big fan of the Athena flick. I mean, just listen to this rubbish excuse I came up with. Didn't have enough pace on it to beat him. He's gonna save that easy. I just, I messed up the earlier bit of the dribble and by that point I realized I was fucked. Anyone behind that? Look at the passing plays between the GCs. Stuff of beauty. Even though the diamonds had strength in numbers, they weren't working as well together as the GCs were. Connor's just always going up for things. And then sometimes the GC just show that why they're GCs and they are just too good for us. Damn, bro. I was like... Damn. Thankfully, we had a trusty diamond we could rely on to put the ball on the back of the net. Oh, I'm the super sub. Boys, come on. Don't make me carry the diamonds on my back. Come on, Connor. You were talking so much smack earlier. As the games went on, the Diamonds passing plays got better. They just couldn't make them amount to anything. Let's go. Look at these passing plays. I just knew where B-Quick was. I could, I could smell him. Oh, shit. That's bad. Oh, no. There is no one back. There is four of us up high. And Connor's, Connor's scaring me a little bit. It's making me very nervous. George is going to try it. 
huge. All right, Connor, now's your time to shine. <laughs> I think he was trying to pinch it off him. A tense final few seconds of the game, but the ball would eventually drop and we'd go to overtime. I'll take OT. Oh, I got really worried. I was going to knock it in. A close scare for the diamonds, but they, uh, they somehow managed to get away with it. And the GCs with the demos. Jesus Christ, just three. Just three cars just flying over there. Fuck. That's a big touch. Jesus Christ, I thought he was going to cross it. No! I nearly got it in. After a tense few minutes, the Diamonds did their best to hold on. But some things are inevitable. I am inevitable. This is, this is a sticky one. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, the GG is... The, uh, the GC's get us. Hey, bro. After a brief discussion of tactics for game three, we were ready to move on. Or, or at least some of us were. You bump me on kickoff, I break your legs. I'm coming for you, Ben. This is five, right? I'm just going to make six diamonds. Oh, God. Uh, We currently only have two diamonds. Uh, well, three. Where's our other two? Boys, what's going on? There was a little bit of a mix up at the start of game three. We was meant to have five total diamonds on the pitch, but somehow ended up with three. I'm not sure how that math checks out, but the GCs made us pay. Thankfully, our plans were working a little bit and we were able to grab a goal back quickly. Nice. Yeah, it is disorientating for sure. In order to beat the GCs, I knew we'd have to try all the tricks we could come up with. So I took advantage of the kickoffs. W! Because that's the other thing. The other thing is like, I can just mess him up like I just did. Right next with these legs. With the GCs threatening to break my legs if I bumped them off kickoffs, that was just something we were going to have to live with if we were going to win this game. Something we had to deal with though and overcome was the amount of times we double committed. Or in some cases, Penta committed? Wow. That was a lot of diamonds. And the GCs proceeded to make us pay for it. I just accidentally score. My game plan was simple. Put pressure on the GCs, try and bump them. Unfortunately, I couldn't demo as we were on the same team, but just try and make their life as difficult as possible. Just trying to bump. Holy crap. I think all of us went up there. Like all five. It seemed we did keep getting in each other's way. Some more than others. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's a great demo. Oh. Every time we got a goal ahead of the GCs, they just seemed to come right back and they weren't letting us get away from them. That was when I decided we needed to pull some out of the bag. So I was going to go for some souls. Trying to get a, a cheeky little touch on it. Pain, bro. Connor's just fucking demoed me. That's the second time I've been demoed by my own team. There was definitely a lack of trust on the diamond team, but thankfully we somehow managed to get away with it. that who tried to tackle me that was his last touch <laughs> and then Saki tried to tackle me with the two goal lead I thought we were chilling but the GC's pulled this out of the bag what the heck in order to beat the GC's I knew we'd have to try all the tricks we could come up with so I took advantage of the kickoffs 
It looked like our plan was working. All I needed to do was keep being a massive pain in the backside for the GCs, and the diamonds would surely come through. However, I did do my best to miss whenever possible. Wow. Like my brain's telling me to defend the blue goal. Some clutch late saves were all we needed to keep the diamonds hopes alive. It's looking like the diamonds have done it. Let's go. The diamonds have the dub. Well, there you have it, ladies and gents. It takes five diamonds to beat two GCs. If you guys want to be in a future video, just swing by the Twitch stream. We're live six days a week. The info will all be in the description below. Hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day and take care.